All right, uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome. I'd like to call the Hammond Redevelopment Commission meeting to order on this Tuesday, February 6, 2024. It is now 4.30. The meeting will begin. Can you please stand for a Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence after? Thank you, Commissioner. Um, Cynthia, can we get a roll call? Tomich? Here. Kubaki? Mosley Shelton? Here. Myricks? Here. Hopbridge? Here. For the record, we have four present with one absent. Number three is a declaration of conflict of interest. Okay, number four is communications. It looked like we received one. Um, Just give us a little brief on that, uh, Cynthia, I'd appreciate it. Yes, we received a letter from Calumet Brass Foundry, Inc., dated January 24th, and it's an intent to acquire the property located at 5945 Kennedy Avenue, and the letter talks about um, their business, how many employees they have, and the investment they would uh, like to make in that property. Okay, yeah, I yeah, did read it. Uh be a great uh, business to if we can land that one. If um, it just sounds like a two point five to three million dollar investment, so um, like I said, we'll just refer this over to staff. No action, and you guys can just keep working with them and see what happens. Sounds good. We'll keep you updated. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, uh, number five is. Resolution, a resolution of the Hammond Redevelopment Commission authorizing David W. Westland and the law firm of Westland and Bennett PC to be authorized to ex execute closing statements, deeds, and all other documents for the purchase of sale of real estate on behalf of the Hammond Redevelopment Commission. Mr. President, make a motion for the approval resolution Resolution of the Hammond Redevelopment Commission authorizing David W. Weston, the law firm Weston and Bennett PC, be authorized to execute closing statements, these and all other documents for the purchase or sale of real estate on behalf of the Hammond Redevelopment Commission. I'll second that. Okay, a motion's been made by Commissioner Myrick, seconded by Commissioner Tomich. Let's have a roll call, please. Tomich? Yes. Kubaki? Mosley Shelton? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Hopridge? Yes. Motion passes with uh, four yes and one absent. Okay, number six, an approval of resolution number 2024-01, a resolution of the Hammond Redevelopment Commission, accepting conveyance of real estate for property, property commonly known as 5626 Walter Avenue. Commissioners, this is a resolution that you have seen in the past and is part of our continuing um, residential infill redevelopment of the Jacob Square area. Um, we are transferring this parcel from um, the city of Hammond to redevelopment for future residential development. Mr. President, I make a motion for the approval of resolution number 2024-01, a resolution of the Hammond Redevelopment Commission accepting conveyance of real estate for property commonly known as 5626 Walter Avenue. I'll second that. Motion's been made by Commissioner Thomas, seconded by Commissioner Shelton. Let's have a roll call then. Tomic? Yes. Kubaki? Mosley Shelton? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Hopridge? Yes. Motion passes four yes, one absent. Okay, brings us to seven. Acceptance of requests for proposals for property commonly known as 1548 Summer Street. So you have one response from a Jose Galvin, is what it looks like. I'll open it. Uh, 
Jose Galvin respectfully offers $2,000 to purchase this lot. Does it say where he's from exactly? Um, he has the neighboring. Neighboring. Rock. Okay. Kind of what I figured, but just wanted to make sure. So you just need to, yeah. we want to entertain a motion that we accept this and refer it to staff. Uh, so moved. Second. Okay, motion's been made by Commissioner uh, Myrick, seconded by Commissioner Tomich. Roll call, please. Tomich? Yes. Kubaki? Mosley Shelton? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Hopridge? Yes. Motion passes for yes, one absent. Okay, thank you, Attorney Westland, on that. Um, number eight, approval of contract for business consulting strategies and training for small business in Hammond, Indiana. Commissioners, this is a marketing, small business marketing program that the Economic Development Department in conjunction with the Community Development Department um, created five years ago to help assist small businesses thrive and grow in, in Hammond. Um, it's a two session class each year. Each session has four weeks, so we are looking at the contract for the spring session coming up this March. Um, and we every year hire a former PNW business professor to run this class. We have gotten nothing but great feedback um, regarding this class. And once completed, each business owner is entitled um, with the submission of receipts to get up to $3,000 in business expenses reimbursement to help grow their business. Mr. President, if there's no further discussion, I make an, a motion for an approval of the contract for business consulting strategies and training for small businesses in Hammond, Indiana. <clears throat> second. Motion has been made by Mr. Tolman, second by Commissioner uh, Myricks. If there's no further questions or discussion. Roll call. Tomich? Yes. Kubaki? Mosley Shelton? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Hopridge? Yes. Motion passes for yes, one absent. Number nine is an approval of Bud Mechanical Systems proposal for the Indiana Building Conference Room, the thermostat there. Um, commissioners, during our deep freeze mid-January, we had a thermostat that went faulty in the Indiana building on the ground floor and thus resulted um, a frozen pipe and bursting there. So this is just an invoice to um, fix that thermostat and give us a, a digital non Pro programmable new one to help out with that in the future. So just, just standard maintenance. Mr. President, if there's no further questions, I'd like to make a motion for the approval of Bud Mechanical Systems proposal for the Indiana Building Conference Room Thermostat. Second. Okay, motion uh, by Commissioner Thomas, second by Commissioner Myricks. Let's have a roll call, please. Tomich? Yes. Kubaki? Mosley Shelton? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Popridge? Yes. Motion passes. Four yes, one absent. Okay, number 10, approval of agreement to purchase real estate for a proper property commonly known as 5629 Claude Avenue. Members of the commission, this property is also part of the Jacob Square uh, area. Um, we are purchasing it for the sum of $1,500, uh, the vacant piece of property uh, by a owner who is in bankruptcy, which is why the seller is uh, the Gold Coast Rand Development Corp by Mr. Freeland as trustee. President, if there's some uh, questions, I'd like to make a motion for approval agreement to purchase real estate for the property coming in on this 629 Claude Avenue. I'll second that. Okay, motion's been made by Commissioner Myrick, second by Commissioner Tomich. If there's no further questions for Attorney Westland, roll call, please. 
Tomich? Yes. Kubaki? Mosley Shelton? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Hopbridge? Yes. Motion passes. Four yes, one absent. Okay, number 11, approval of condemnation, settlement, and release agreement for property commonly known as 147 Sibley Street. So this uh, is a sliver of property off of Pullman Avenue that is required for the realignment of Pullman Avenue. Um, and that was the purpose for the condemnation was to take the this small, it's a triangular sliver of property that is necessary as Homan Avenue realigned. Uh, Mr. President, there's no questions or further discussion. I'd like to make a motion for the approval of the condemnation, settlement, and release agreement for property commonly known as a four set of civil. I'll second that. Okay, a motion has been made by Commissioner Myrick, seconded by Commissioner Tomich. Let's have a roll call. Tomich? Yes. Kubaki? Mosley Shelton? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Hopbridge? Yes. Motion passes, four yes, one absent. Okay, number 12 is an approval of settlement agreement between the City of Hammond. Redevelopment Commission and Taylor Roll LLC and Arc Lofts LLC. Commissioners, you have before you a settlement agreement um, between the Redevelopment Commission, Taylor Row LLC, and Arc Lofts LLC. Um, in March of 2022, the Redevelopment Commission entered a development agreement. Um, with Plaza Square LLC to build a mixed-use residential project in downtown Hammond um, for 208 units with residential, with commercial or retail on the first floor. Um, with the approval of this settlement, the developer will be released from that development agreement. And part of the settlement also includes the city paying the developer $1 million um, as reimbursement for work, prior work that they did on the site and site preparation and design. And also in the settlement, the developer will um, release deeds to two vacant buildings that they purchased in downtowns back to the Redevelopment Commission. These two buildings are on Holman Avenue, 5265 Holman Avenue, and 219 Russell Street. These two buildings are very close to our upcoming downtown station. We have Mark Cranley on the line. He is a partner at Barnes and Thornburg. He helped us draft this settlement if, agreement if you had any questions. Um, and while this may be seen as a, a, a sad outcome for this development, um, a lot of work went into it on both the developer's side and our side as well. It is a new opportunity for us to um, re-advertise for that parcel and um, see what other vision we can have for that site. Okay, thank you. Um, I see his name, Mark Cranley. If, um, if you're listening, uh, I don't know if you wanna have any comments or a little overview. I, no, I, I uh, Really just second what Ann had to say. Uh, I'm, I am happy to answer any questions though and, and available to you to do so. Okay. Well, thank you for uh, at least signing on and watching us tonight. Appreciate your time. If there are no further questions, <clears throat> I'd like to make a motion for the approval, approval of the settlement agreement between the City of Hammond Redevelopment Commission and Taylor Row LLC and Arc Loss LLC. Second. Okay, a motion's been made then by Commissioner Tolman, second by Commissioner uh, Myricks. With no further questions or discussion, <clears throat> roll call. Tomich? Yes. Kubaki? Mosley Shelton? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Hopbridge? Yes, motion passes, four yes, one absent. OK, 
Okay, number 13 is an approval of the Third Amendment to the Development Agreement for 415 Sibley, LLC. So, members of the Commission, you'll remember that there was a development agreement with 415 Sibley, LLC. We amended it. Uh, there was a second amended agreement which called for the project to uh, for, for there to be an agreement on a new project at 415 Sibley LLC by the end of the year. Uh, the city, uh, working with the developer, has determined that they want to extend that deadline to May 1st. But May, May 1st. So an additional four months uh, if the, the same outcome if the developer doesn't uh, reach an agreement with the city, uh, then the properties um, that are listed in the agreement, I'm actually currently holding deeds in escrow in my office. Those, those deeds would get recorded and the property would be transferred back to the city. So, uh, a question. If we approve it, would this be the last amendment? So I think you asked me that question when we did the second amendment, yes. and I'm pretty sure I said this is the last amendment. So um, I don't want to misspeak and and have you tell me in the first meeting in May that I told you that. But I think barring a major movement forward, um, this would be the last amendment. I, the only way, Greg, I could conceivably see another amendment is if we're negotiating something and we're real close and, like, we need a, a month to get it done, right? Like, I, I, I can't – we keep kicking this can down the road, um, and I just don't see it being kicked much further. I, I realize you don't have a crystal ball. Mm -hmm. Just that, you know, after so many – Proceeding forward, or well, that's a question, and that's a great question, and I think it's a question that the staff and the attorneys for the staff have been asking for a few months now. Okay, it's well, I optimistic. Let's uh, give it another shot here and keep going and see what happens. Okay. We're this far into it, so. And the staff, so you know, the planning and development staff is, is working steadily to get them across the finish line. We're not leaving them out there in the cold. We would like to see this project move forward. Or the start line, where you get the race run. <laughs> but whatever, however you want it, whatever your analogy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Mr. President, there's no further questions or discussions. I'd like to make a motion for the approval of the Third Amendment to Development Agreement for 415. LLC. I'll second that. Okay, we have a motion by Commissioner Myricks, second by Commissioner uh, Tomich. <clears throat> Let's have a roll call, please. Tomich? Yes. Kubaki? Mosley Shelton? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Hopridge? Yes, motion passes uh, four yes with one absent. Okay, uh, Number 14, Bills Register of Claims. Should be a revised edition there. <clears throat> Mr. President, I make a motion for the approval of the claims for the Redevelopment Commission. The Register of Claims dated 11-13-23 and ended with claims dated 2-6-24, claim number R64478 through R64920 inclusive. Second. Okay, uh, motions uh, by Commissioner uh, Tomich, seconded by uh, Commissioner Myricks. Is there any uh, questions on these claims for uh, staff? Okay, since there is none, roll call. Tomich? Yes. Kubaki? <clears throat> Mosley Shelton? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Hopridge? 
Yes, motion passes with uh, four yes, one absent. Okay, number 15 is our reports. Uh, Ann Taylor, would you like to share anything tonight? I would. I have two events um, to talk to you about. Next week on Thursday, February 15th, we are reshowing Walkable USA. It's a documentary about walkability, Jeff Speck, and using Hammond as the example um, of how it can help a revitalization project uh, get to the finish line. <laughs> um, it will be here on the 15th at 3 p.m. in council chambers, um, and board members um, and commissioners are welcome to join. It's one hour long. It's not too long. So. Yeah. That's on the 15th. 15th at 3 o'clock. Yep. I did have the liberty to watch it again on TV and oh, great. We taped it. So. Great. Wonderful. Yep. Um, also coming up on March 14th, we have our wonderful annual Disabilities Awards breakfast. Um, like I said, the 14th at 8 a.m. at Dynasty. And if you need any tickets, you can reach out to Cynthia. Thank you so much. All right. Good things happening. Thank you. All right, number 16 is a uh, new and finished business. I think we might have a item for uh, homebound conditional forgivable loan approval. Good afternoon, commissioners. I'm Nancy Hopperich. I work in community development. I'm here before you for homebound conditional forgivable loan approval for applicant Priscilla Tapia. Hello. 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 Just a couple quick questions. <laughs> You'll be able to answer them. Um, how did you hear about our program? Um, I've lived in Hammond majority of my life, so my mom used it. So oh, oh, wonderful! Oh, nice. And I was mm -hmm. able to use the Hammond um, program for like the college bound. Oh, oh nice! So <laughs> pretty well familiar. <laughs> Are you a first time home buyer? Yes. Okay. And do you have a realtor? Yes. You know, happen to know your realtor's name? Yes, Erica Garcia. Okay, I'm a realtor as well. I don't care. Okay, I don't have any other questions. You want to ask anybody? With that being said, Mr. President, I make a motion for the approval of the homebound conditional forgivable loan approval for Priscilla Tapia. Correct. At 1619 East 173rd Place. I'll second that. Okay, motion's uh, been made by Commissioner Meyer, seconded by Commissioner Tomage. That's for the homebound conditional forgive a loan approval for Priscilla Tapia at 1619 East 173rd Place, Hammond, Indiana, in the amount of $2,500. Thank you guys so much. Let's have a roll call, please. Tomich? Yes. Kobaki? Mosley Shelton? Yes. Myricks? Yes. Hopridge? Yes. Motion passes four yes, one wow. absent. Congratulations. 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 Thank you for staying in Hammond. <laughs> Okay, I think that concludes new and unfinished business. Um, number 17 is uh, public comment. Public comment is open. Public comment is open. Public comment is open. If anybody would like to come forward, you may do so now and speak. Okay, public comment is closed. Public comment is closed. Public comment is closed. Can we get a number 18? Mr. President, I make a motion to adjourn. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Can you all signify bye? Aye. 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 Ayes have it. Meeting.